Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new year here at the Shippensburg History Center. And today we're going to talk a little bit about one of the cool pieces of history that I picked up at an antique store over the Christmas holiday. And believe it or not, I picked this up for $20. That's right, $20 for what appears to be a box. You can see it's got the um, a keyhole here, that way it could be locked. Unfortunately, the key is not with it. We would have had a nameplate or maybe somebody's uh, plate with their initials on it. And then to kind of protect it, you have this paper covered bottom here. That would basically help to protect, uh, protect the box. So when I bought this, it was in pretty rough shape. I managed to go ahead and bring it back a little bit by applying some of the natural dyes to it as well as a beeswax oil. So now it has a little bit of that shine back to it and it looks absolutely beautiful. So when I looked at this, it looked like an average box to me until I opened it up. And when I opened it up, come to find out, this was a writing desk. And upon further investigation, this is from the mid, kind of like the 1870s, because we have an inkwell here that most likely went with this desk that was patented and registered on January 1st of 1877. And this is just a great example of an 1800s, basically a traveling or portable writing desk. Now, who would have used this? Anybody who liked to write, basically they would have taken this with them. Or if the person was a businessman and he needed contents, and be able to write out receipts and stuff like that. He could have easily taken this with him simply by folding it up. And locking it and carrying it with him like this. This is an amazing piece and I love this. And this is going to be a great addition to our history here. So I'm going to pull the inkwell out for a second and kind of give you the breakdowns here. So here you have two areas where you can put your, basically an inkwell and perhaps maybe something to clean your nib pens when they're done. Here you have a compartment here. Now this would have been used probably to store some of your sealing wax as well as a stamper and other little small trinkets. Now, the velvet center here would have connected right in this area here, but unfortunately, being over 100 years old, that didn't last long. And besides, when you're opening these drawers up, that's where basically the weak portion is going to happen or come in, and that's pretty much where I guess it would tear. So what we did instead was kind of like fold it down under here and then we're going to get another piece and try to put in this area here to kind of make it look like it's connected so you would have a tab that would attach like right here and that would open up the desk this way so in this area here you could have carried extra maybe an extra ink package maybe perhaps you would have your nip pens or a dip pen Maybe you would have a crayon, say if you were somebody who liked to draw, or maybe if you were somebody who liked to take notes or read, maybe one of your books could go into here and fold that up. And then the next area here, this would open up too, and that would go ahead and expose a much larger compartment to maybe even put some of your paper in. Perhaps maybe if you were somebody who enjoyed writing in a journal, you would put your journal in here. And that would basically be it. So you would go ahead and put this back on, lock it in place, and carry your contents that way. Either way, this is a really cool piece of history right here. Writing is one of our popular programs 
to where people can actually use the equipment that they would have used in say in the 1800s as well as in the 1700s. And this desk here is going to be a great example of something that people can see and perhaps maybe you'll see these desks come back and become popular again just like some of the writing styles as well as some of the bullet journals that people are now doing so great piece of history that i picked up again you never know what you're going to find at an antique store especially for this for twenty dollars so until then everybody we'll see you later